Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're going to study the very basics of cancer. And I chose this picture here so you can see how cancer progresses through different stages and how it can get progressively worse as it's able to uh, connect to the blood vessels and go to other parts of the body. Obviously this is a negative thing because the cancer can now invade other parts of the body. So our learning goals for today, you should be able to compare and contrast normal cells and cancer cells in terms of their passage through the cell cycle, and you should be able to describe cancer cells. So first of all, cancer is a different group of diseases, and they're all caused by uncontrolled cell cycle division. So if you remember from our last video on the cell cycle, there are several checkpoints along the way to make sure that the cell is dividing properly. And in this case, the cell division goes uncontrolled. So those checkpoints aren't met and the cell just divides out of control. So a tumor is a mass of cells dividing out of control. And you can see from the picture at the bottom, there starts off with one cell that has some sort of mutation, it has some sort of problem. That cell can divide to form many other cells. All of those divide to form many other cells. And you can see that the tumor becomes larger and larger, and there's much more division compared to the cells on either side, which are dividing at a normal rate. So there are two types of tumors, a benign tumor, which remains in the original tissue where the tumor formed, and then a malignant tumor, which is able to invade other tissues. So if you look at the picture there, they use the word in situ cancer to mean a benign tumor, which is staying in the same place, and invasive cancer to mean a tumor that's malignant and has been able to move to other tissues. So cancer is typically caused when a cell skips a cell cycle checkpoint. So often it's when the, uh, the DNA or the chromosomes are dividing and there's some sort of error in the division of the DNA. And usually in the GAP2 phase, there's a check to make sure that the cell has divided its DNA properly. If the cell skips that step, so it doesn't check that the DNA has divided properly, then you can end up with mutations in the DNA, and that's when you can end up with cancer. So let's take a look at how a cell progresses through the cell cycle, when it's a regular cell versus a cancer cell. Normal cells will progress through the cell cycle at a slower pace. Obviously, some cells in the body will divide faster than other cells, but they all divide at a slower pace than a cancer cell. Now, if the cell becomes damaged, it goes through something called apoptosis or programmed cell death. So when a cell hits a cell, a cell cycle checkpoint and the cell realizes there's some sort of problem, if the cell cannot fix that problem, then it kills itself and that's apoptosis. In the case of cancer, the cells divide much more quickly and when there is a mistake, the cell does not die. It just continues to reproduce and reproduce and reproduce. So let's take a look at how regular cells look compared to cancer cells because doctors are able to take a look at cells under a microscope and determine if they're regular cells or if they're cancer cells. So what are the things that they're looking for? Well, in normal cells versus cancer cells, you have uh, a certain amount of cytoplasm in a normal cell and in the cancer cell there's much less cytoplasm and the nucleus looks much bigger under those cancer cells. Um, also, there's only a single nucleus in a regular cell, where there may be multiple nuclei in a cancer cell. Um, also, a single nucleolus versus multiple nucleoli in a cancer cell. And the chromatin is fine. So remember we talked about chromosomes, how the DNA is normally almost looking like a plate of spaghetti until it condenses to go through the cell cycle. So those chromosomes, they're all... Uh, decondensed and they look a little bit like a plate of spaghetti, we call those chromatin. Whereas in the cancer cell, the chromatin is much more coarse and the chromosomes are semi-condensed. Here's some other examples. So there are a large number of dividing cells. So we talked about how it goes through the cell cycle much more quickly. Um, 
the nuclei can be a little bit irregularly shaped. Um, the volume or the amount of cytoplasm is much so smaller in the cancer cells. The actual shape of the cell itself can be irregular compared to what you would expect for that type of cell. Um, when we talk about specialized cells, we talked about how they may have certain types of organelles or certain type of, uh, for example, projections from the cell that allow it to do its job. These cells may lose those types of organelles or lose those specialized uh, shapes or specialized functions because they're going through the cell cycle so rapidly. Um, these cells become disorganized so they're not arranged properly and the actual boundary of the tumor can be poorly defined. So it may not be a nice closely packed type of cell. They may be a little bit all over the place. So that's how a doctor would take a look at the cells and determine if they're regular cells or cancer cells. So our learning goals for today, can you compare and contrast normal cells and cancer cells in terms of their passage through the cell cycle? And can you describe cancer cells? If you can do all of these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video, and if you're still having questions, you can come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.